Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to be talking about pointwise terminology. When we reference certain entities in pointwise, we want to make sure you know what we're talking about. And when you reference certain entities in pointwise, we want to make sure you're using terminology that we're familiar with. Whenever we are referencing CAD or geometry, we call these databases. These are analytical surfaces and they can either be imported or they can be created in pointwise. The default colors for these is pink. Our one dimensional grid elements are called connectors. And the default color for these is green. Our two dimensional grid elements are domains. And when we reference these in the GUI, they're light blue. Three dimensional grid elements are blocks. They can be structured or unstructured or hybrid sometimes referred to as the volume grid. These are always dark blue. Sources are kind of a gold color and this controls the grid density in the isotropic portion of unstructured blocks. Finally, an entity is the term used to describe any of the above items. So let's see what that looks like on a grid. This particular geometry is taken from the 2013 International Meshing Roundtable's Meshing Contest. This is the completed mesh. You can see there is one block, 481 domains, 1,557 connectors, and 500 database entities. So let's take a look at these one by one. The databases are all pink, and these are the analytical surfaces to which connectors and domains are attached to. Connectors are the one-dimensional grid elements. If I turn off the visualization of the databases, you can more clearly see them. You can also see how domains are built from these connectors. And they stick to where the databases are. Finally, there's the block. And if I select the block and go to examine, you can see that it is currently populated with cells. But what if we wanted more cells, say, behind the aircraft? We could do that by creating a source. You notice the source is gold to distinguish itself from domains, blocks, and database entities. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.